Apple released iOS 17 and developer beta 5 and I have to say this is probably one of the biggest beta updates since of course the official release of iOS 17 back in June. This one contains a lot of new features and changes and in today's follow up video I wanted to share with you guys 10 additional actual new features and changes within the latest beta. Now of course stay tuned for my follow up video where I share with you guys additional information in regards to the battery, bugs, performance and all that. That's coming in the next couple of days so make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. But in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at 10 additional new features and changes in the latest iOS 17 developer beta 5. So I want to start off with Safari. In iOS 17 developer beta 5, there's a new splash screen, if you will, a new prompt when you go into private browsing. The new feature that allows you to protect your private browsing using Face ID now gives you a prompt on how to enable it on the latest beta. By the way, this iPhone here on the right is running beta 4. This one is is running beta 5 and I have them next to each other of course for comparison purpose so if you launch Safari and you go into private browsing and you don't have this new face ID lock feature enabled you can go into the settings application on your iPhone you can find the Safari extension and basically this is what that is telling you to do here the splash screen that you just saw there you can go into the settings here and you can enable here require face ID to unlock private browsing and you can enable that feature so basically it gives you a prompt within Safari on their private browsing in order to enable this new feature within Safari. Now there's also some changes within the check-in feature built into iMessage, the feature that allows you to let someone know once you arrive at a destination. Now this feature on the latest beta provides additional information for that person so if the person unlocks their iPhone or if they take their watch off throughout the course where they're going, right, you'll be able to see the timestamps and a map indicating where that person no longer has their phone or has their watch on them so this is important information and vital information of course if you're wanting to use this check-in feature in order to let someone know once you arrive to a destination so more information is provided here within the latest beta in regards to iPhone and Apple watch now if we take a look here at some of the health application prompts that we're getting with the latest beta we also have improvements to health and activities so we get a prompt here Apple is asking us to help improve health and activity information and you can share the data with Apple if you would like this is a prompt here of course this is something that is a choice and Apple is letting you know that this is available within the latest iOS 17 as well now you know that new feature built into the phone application on your iPhone called live voicemail so basically someone can call you and if you don't answer they can go ahead and leave a live voicemail which allows you to see what they're saying before you pick up and then you can decide if you want to pick up or not well if someone calls you from a number that you don't know you get this new screen here where you can either block if it is a scam you can go ahead and block it or depending on the message you can choose to answer the call as well so Apple has updated the UI for the live voicemails on iOS 17 developer beta 5 and I'm loving the new updates here as well. Now before we continue, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, K-School and the K-School Magic Stand case. This is my favorite case. I use it every single day, of course. The Magic Stand is the highlighted feature here. It allows me to use my MagSafe accessories without having to remove my case. I can also use the Magic Stand, of course, to prop my iPhone up to watch YouTube videos or play video games. K-School is having a brand day, 25% off each day with with an additional 15% off for a total of 40% for three days straight from August 7th through August the 9th. So make sure you check out all the links in the description on day one. You have your case cool cloud coach series of cases with up to 40% off. Again, the first hour you want to make sure you're there to get up to 40% off. On day two, case cool is featuring the magic stand case series as well. And on day three, the offers continue with various products up to 40% off. You don't want to miss this deal. Case cool brand day. Make sure you check out the links in the description and grab your case cool case today. Thank you to case cool for sponsoring today's video. Now, airdrop on the latest beta also received some updates there's smoother animations nicer animations as well and there's also a new sound so if i go into the photos here by the way there's also options available here when you go ahead and transfer a photo i want you to hear the sound here when i try to transfer an image here let's go ahead and do that 
So there's a new sound and you also have the option to actually share the image before it completely transfer. You can select how many photos you want to share, click share, and then it sends it away to the other iPhone. So smoother animations here on the latest beta, a new sound, and of course, new options available within AirDrop. This new feature in iPhone, I really, really love. Now moving on to Apple Remote, now you get a prompt to locate your remote. So this is a new Siri feature, of course, if you go into Control Center and you enable the remote extension here, you'll be able to, of course, control your Apple TV, but you also have the option to find your remote if you ever lose it. As you can see right there, Apple gives you a quick card explaining how this feature works. So this is a new prompt here on the latest iOS 17 Beta 5, and Shazam also received a really nice update. So if you use Shazam for any of the music detection right here, of course, you get this new dynamic island animation, which looks amazing. And I also recorded a screen capture from last night right there. I was listening to music. Take a look at this sweet animation here. So it's listening to the song, of course. Once it detects the song, Shazam gives you this really cool animation and it also, of course, link you to Apple Music. Let me go ahead and show you that animation one more time because Apple is definitely the best at animations in iOS. So let's take a look at that right there. You see the text of song, we get this really cool animation in iOS 17. And now other minor changes within the App Store as well. So if we go into the App Store, we no longer have Apple using all caps for their tags here. So let's go here and show you what I mean. So if I go into the App Store right here, you see that the Get button here is not in all caps as it was before within the previous beta, as you can see right there. And thanks to Aaron P613, Apple Watch, Watch OS 10 Beta 5 adds Apple Watch support for name drop. So we have new name drop options available for the latest Watch OS. And this is really cool, of course, because you can share name drop from Apple Watch to Apple Watch or from Apple Watch to iPhone. This feature has now been enabled. So yeah, really cool stuff happening. This is a really big update coming to the iPhone. iOS 17 developer beta 5. By the way, public beta testers, as of right now, it is not out just yet. Public beta testers, you'll most likely see the public beta here in the next 24 hours or so. So stay tuned here to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.